Hi, Sherry Bertolini, and wanted to give you some tips today on uses for corner cabinets. Corner cabinets are very oddly shaped, and they're usually fairly deep, so they get a little bit awkward to work with, but we found a couple of ways that seem to be effective for us in our kitchens, so I thought I would pass those on and see if they are helpful to you. The first shelf, the one that's most easily accessible, is the one that we use for our everyday plastics because this is what we use a lot for sticking leftovers in the fridge, for putting things in the deep freeze that we want to freeze like soups and that kind of thing when they're left over. So these are used all the time as well as their lids. And then we have our little itty bitties in here because if they weren't inside a corral they'd just be flying around so we keep them inside with the lids. And these two guys, notice, are right there, straight in, straight out. So easy access. We use the perimeter, however, that odd shaped all those corners for stuff like jars, leftover jars. Uh, once we clean them up, we run them through the dishwasher, use them for grease, use them for, you know, again, maybe a leftover thing that we can just send home with, with the girls or guests. Uh, we save a few of the nicer containers from takeout food because these are great for, you know, putting together leftovers and sending them home with somebody, which is nice, especially when it's my husband's cooking. <laughs> our second shelf, still accessible, fairly easy to get into, is all of our glass food storage. I prefer glass just because I believe it's healthier and I just, I like the look of it. I like being able to heat food in glass and so this is my first choice, but I know that plastic just kind of stays part of the picture. So, But these, as you will notice, get stored with their lids on because that way I can stack them on top of one another, but I also nest them. You know, little guy inside the big guy kind of a thing. So that is very helpful. And because it's glass, I can see it and I know exactly what's there. Top shelf, a few more glass baking dishes and things that don't fit in our cor corner carousel that's down below. But this is like the, the big casserole dish. Uh, the glass brownie dish and I think our little popcorn guy that's up here and those get used about once a week so you know frequently enough that we want them accessible but not so frequently that they deserve to be down on one of these levels all right another thing that I have found is very helpful with the corner cabinet is um, large service items like large bowls large platters if you can get them through that front opening without getting too awkward or being afraid of chipping something it's nice because there's plenty of space in there for things to spread out and you can position them back toward the sides so that their edges stick toward the center and you can see where they are and see what's there. But it might take a little maneuvering to get them in and out. But if you're not using them that often, this is a good place to keep them. So that's, those are my ideas for uh, corner cabinetry. If you guys have more ideas, I would love to hear about them. Send us a picture of anything that you've got uh, that seems to be working for you and share it with the rest of us on the Facebook page, all right? That's Corner Cabinet. Keep working on those kitchens.